Okay, welcome back sa ating YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to purchase a brand new domain through crazydomains.com and uh, we will be using our current hosting plan. So what we can do here is we just log in. So if in case you don't have an account with crazydomains.com, what you can do is just sign up for a free account. Okay, but in this case, I have already an account with crazydomains.com. So we'll just log in. We can log in using our uh, Facebook account. So visit my account. Okay, click in this tab, in this upper tab, you just click domains. Okay, scroll down and you will see here register domain okay pwede na natin ditong uh, try natin kung available yung domains na gusto natin and click search okay guys um Good news, our domain is available. So what we can do now is, okay, this is the 10 years plan. So they have 12.99 per year for a 10 year plan. So pwede natin tong gawin lang one year. So one year plan is uh, $16.57 uh, dollar, New Zealand dollar per year. So, so it's already added to my cart. So we go to cart. Okay, 16.57 per year. So go to cart. And click pay securely. Okay, this one here, these are additional add-ons for our domains. So, wag na muna natin uh, bilhin yan. So, total order is 16.57. So, continue order. We will pay using our credit card. We will dis we will disable uh, auto renewal, and we will click this save for express checkout on future orders. Pay and activate. Okay, I click this. I have read the terms and condition, and pay and activate. Okay, we have already completed our purchase. Now we go to hosting account. And click control panel. Click the control panel. Okay. So in this page, we'll go to domains and click add on domains. Okay, we put our new domain here. So subdomain and click this add domain okay the domain has been created go back to hosting manager
Okay, we have successfully added our new domain to our hosting. Now, we will uh, redirect our uh, new domain. Okay, uh, click domains. And look for the domain here. Click the domains. Scroll down and check for the name servers. Okay, we have to edit this one. We will change this. Okay, click modify. We will highlight this text here and change it with ns1.sirahost.com. Okay, copy this. Okay. And change this server to. So change this to ns 2 sirahost and click update. Okay, we have successfully redirected our uh, new domain. Now we are going to install WordPress. Uh, okay, we go to web hosting tab. Okay, click control panel. Okay, scroll down and look for software. Scroll down and click Installatron Application Installers. Okay. Click Applications Browser. Okay. And here look for Content Management and click the WordPress tab here. Okay. And then install this application. Okay, so under location, you have here domain. Look for the new domains that you have just purchased. Okay, this is our new domain. Scroll down. Okay, under settings, we will change our username and password. Okay. And click here, install. Okay, the WordPress is now installing to our new website. 